friends. I have my fishing honey hole. It's really thin in here. It's like everywhere else, but a lot of that's about to change, right? It's amazing. This place is so much more lush in the uh, in the spring. It's really dry, actually. Look, the water usually comes. I mean, a lot of times I'm sitting on that bench, and it's flooded past. I really didn't expect it to be this thin. We're working with a. Uh, we're working with new gear. This, uh, this camera is going to go a lot further. And it's going to be a lot sharper. It's a heck of a lot cooler than I anticipated. All the way zoomed in, look how little, there's not much bounce. Alright, we came all the way down here. We might as well poke around a little bit. Hey, my friends. Let me uh, give them something, because I actually have uh, confetti cookies. So, that's actually pretty convenient. One sec. Came pretty close while you guys were paused. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to see to it that uh, that the ducks get some. Hopefully, hopefully they see these going out there. You guys are hungry, huh? I'm actually gonna uh, change from a, this is changing from a Sasquatch gift very rapidly to a duck gift. All right guys, no problem. I didn't here to bother you. They let me get close. There's a whole lot of fish in here. I mean, a lot. They're probably fairly dormant still, but, um, I'll do some videos with you guys if you guys are into it. When uh, I'll do a couple of videos when I come down here. Nobody comes down here. It's like only the few people that know about it are the people who live around here. It's not listed. There's very few places that aren't listed. Like online, you know what I mean? That's the day and age we live in. I have a bag from when Jimbo sent me some hot sauce. <laughs> it was called Slap Your Mama Hot Sauce. I've reused this bag about a hundred times for, for this purpose out here. Because it always comes back out with me. And then I'm like, oh, I need a bag to put stuff in for gifting. Hmm. I still have the other one. Here you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, put it in the water. That's smart. Here you go. Make it nice and soft like cake. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I could dig it. All right, I'll help you guys get these in there, huh? I didn't really consider that. You boys got bad teeth, so I feel you. Oh, sorry, friends. I'll let you be. All right, so we'll go poke around. This dock actually looks like it, uh, it was a small dock that you could walk out on. And uh, it kind of got you a little bit out. Just a little bit. And because uh, there's a lot of lilies that form up here that, that aren't here yet. And it gets really, really thick. So it's hard to get past, you know, you can get it out past it if you want. You know, if you, but you pretty much just want to use a bobber and a worm. Live bait is key here. A um, couple, of, maybe a couple of little, I think they're big mouth or whatever. They're very small though. Um, striper maybe they're called or I don't know if it's bass or striper one of them is freshwater which is why they're here um, like there's a couple of catfish there's a couple of koi fish they never bite uh, I think they were placed here and um, a lot of sunnies a lot of crappy or whatever they're called That's interesting. That is a deer, for, for sure. It's definitely a deer. I'm surprised to see that. That's definitely, I'd say, a domestic dog. There's no coyote here. Well, it looks like a shoe. Sneaker. I'm not gonna find anything, really. Um, sometimes I wonder if I'm gonna, if you see something, you know, something special. And that's just strictly that would just strictly be actually looks like there's a school up there a huge school which I, I never noticed was up there I'd never go that way I probably have once or twice but this is not an area I'm familiar with I'm not over here much so I don't uh, just never have been When somebody tipped me off about it, I gave it a shot. And uh, there's a lot of freshwater places that I go and I give tries. Just like Bigfooting, I like to just try a new spot, see a new spot, experience a new place. But I hear something in here. Uh, we saw something weird here last time, too. It's just a bunch of birds, I think. But we saw something weird here last time. And it looks like there's a... There's a bird kill here. I think we saw some sort of kill here once before. These are pretty fresh feathers. Pretty sure we saw a kill right here last time. Which made us, I believe, we, I started to say it's probably a fox living in here. Either that or somebody's domestic dog just comes down and has free reign. But domestic dogs tend to lose that. Not all of them, but. It's usually really hard to get, to get back to this side. Yeah, those geese are still going at it. Surprised those ducks wanted no part of it. They wanted no part of me, no part of when they saw me feeding. They just like sleeping. <sighs> oh, that's whatever that is in there is way bigger than a bird. We're gonna try and get a look. Looks like a sideways dog head. Sorry, I'm not used to this camera yet, guys. I apologize if we've been zoomed in. Uh, I'm watching my footing more so than usual because of how muddy it is. Oh, looks like it could be. That could be pretty big. 
unless it's a double step but it's not that wide so I'm just writing it off right away and there are other sneaker marks nearby so could have just literally it could have been like a couple of squirrels like fighting and they made a lot of noise like it's hard to judge you know unless it's a really big crash Sometimes you can really misjudge what something is without seeing it. Um, you know, the more time you spend out there, the more time you know what's doing what and what's making what noise, etc. See, this is all new in here because they put these two big houses up here. Um, this was not as cleared out back here. This was all just full at one point. It was just, that was all, that was all, uh, they knocked out all the woods. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know how many houses they put. I see three now. That one doesn't look brand new. Those two do. So that one might have been standing already. I don't want to point too much. I highly doubt any, anybody's paying attention, but you never know. This I thought was interesting, once upon a time. Hi. See, that's like, that, that, there's a house up there that, that's literally, that house right there. Is, uh. It's like across a street. It's amazing. It's so thin in here. It's, it's amazing how this is going to fill out. Like, very, very soon. I'm surprised it's not starting to. We did get a cold snap, like, out of nowhere. I mean, I shouldn't act, like, ignorant to the fact that it's still technically winter, but... Um... It was warming up. It was fooling me a little bit. At least down here it was. We got a telltale signs, right? How many times do we see this? These huge, this, I mean, these aren't massive, but they all range from different sizes, but we always see these ripped out from the roots. This actually looks like it's all one tree. This one, this one, and this one. They're all making like a, almost like an arrow. It looks like this, this one was broken off and broken off and then like an arrow was made. I don't know if that's what it means to them if they if it was Sasquatch or some other elemental being, but it's still really thick up in here, all these thorns and stuff. It's kinda of disappointing. I really wanted to have a I really wanted to have a nice go of it. I thought I was gonna sit on the other side with you guys and scan across and really do a lot of uh what I wanted to do was film the same area in general over and over I wanted to stay from that side and film on this side and I was gonna do um out loud and telepathic uh communication and see what kind of changes we could see uh I mean as you can see it's very thin in here. It's not what I expected. See how much farther we're zooming now, though? It's pretty cool. Now... Oh, here we go again. If I'm just taking photos... zooms in a lot more so obviously it's not really ideal for much because we want to get close to them but that's the goal we want to get close and communicate and um but at the same time i'm excited to get long distance pictures of like places i've seen and been like man that's beautiful up there like i wonder what's up there 
like just for personal reasons I'm very very excited I'm like picturing all these new photographs I'm going to be able to take and things I'm going to be able to put into my uh, collage you know this this channel is a is a video collage it is a video diary of the past few years it's a Wow, that's a rooster. That threw me all the way off. And now I know where all these kills are coming from. But we saw a couple of birds in here. So what I'd imagine is happening is a fox is coming in because it hears that damn rooster all the time. And then it's, uh, I'm sure it's probably very protected because... I mean, the house is up on a hill. It's like, it's got like, it looks like it's barricaded in, honestly. It's pretty cool. They literally have a zip line. See that? That's, oh shit, here it comes. Whatever it was. Oh, it's deer. It's deer. I can't believe there's deer in here. I do not want to scare them off because I don't know. I don't want them to run into a different place. I don't want them to like run up and end up in a in a bad way. There are roads surrounding this place. There's there's a couple right there. Look! Oh wow! Look how many there are. That's a beautiful picture. If we can capture it. You see one, two. And then these two are stacked up the same. Oh, they moved. Hi. Oh, don't you put that foot down. Don't you put that foot down. Doodle. I could stomp too. Do, 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 do. Oh, do, 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 do. Hi. I love this shit, man. I love it. Hi. This is actually good practice. If you are waiting on your first encounter and your first sighting and stuff like that, when you see deer like this, go into kid mode and act like it's act like you're interacting with a future Sasquatch. It's not so silly. So Get you better now. So, um, with that being said, like, pr pretend for the most part that it's a Sasquatch and that you're interacting with a Sasquatch. Pretend you just locked eyes with it and and treat the situation as such. What would I do if this was a Sasquatch right now? What would I do? Try to remain calm. Try to emanate respect. These deer are telepathic. They know exactly what your mood is, what you're thinking. Right now, one of the other ones that's not locked in with me is, is making all these noises of danger. And while the, this one's... It, it started to listen, but then it just was like, no, we're good. Yeah, so, um, I know that might sound silly to some people, but it's, it's good, it's a good way to practice with something that's, oh, like, it just surprised you out there, like, because that's how it's going to happen. If a Sasquatch decides to, decides to show itself, it's going to surprise you. Some people you'll hear say, oh, it didn't, it didn't even know I was there, or, uh, it ran out and whatever. They know. 
They, they know. They know what's going on. They know your headlights and your car and everything are coming down the road before as they're gonna cross in front of you. It's not the first car they've seen. See, this is probably a really good place to metal detect. Here's a bobber, here's a bobber. On top of a bottle, which I'd rather get up to the garbage. The bobbers, I leave there because they, um, well, we've seen deer here now, so that's kind of cool, huh? I mean, we saw the, we saw the hoofs, so I knew they were, I knew they were, they had been in here, but truly amazing. This is a very small location as far as, like, I don't know where they're connecting to. I don't know where they're going to. Hey, babies. Here. Oh, see, a fish just came out right there. It was definitely right here for the for the cookies. See? Look, you could actually see it. Look. You could actually see the crumbs floating down. It'll come back, too. They, um, they don't usually swim up that close, but they will. It could be a catfish that was eating it off the floor. The cats aren't huge in here. You know, like, I'm sure. Oh, look, see? Did you see that? The fish just came up. Look. I'll show you guys. It was a sunny. Came right up. So that's basically what you're gonna do in the, when you're fishing here is just drop stuff in and they go after it. It's like that simple. It's very primal, it's very, it's just very old school. You don't wanna overdo anything in this spot. It's very untouched by man, you see what I'm saying? So like, there's not, there's not a whole lot of a, of a, of a learning process that they've done to the point where oh, they know what lures are and this and that. It's just very basic. Anyone I ever see in here, this is interesting, to be honest with you. This looks like, uh, I don't even know what. Alright guys, I'll see you, okay? Yeah, again, I don't know the real names for some of these things. Like, I just... I'm like a bad fisherman in that aspect, I suppose. Um, that right there, that pole, tells you how deep it is. So, uh, it was, according to this, it's very deep in the middle. You, unless that pole stood taller... And it broke off. We'll scan that. Oh, see? That was cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Wait till I, I'll bring you guys back here in the, uh, in the summertime. Well, spring probably. I don't fare well in summer. You guys probably don't care, but it's cool. It's cool to see them. They're moving so slow. These fish are moving so slow right now. It's amazing. There they are. Uh, it's really hard to see. They blend in so well. These sunnies are very small, mind you. They're um, they're only like probably double that. Probably like four inches tall. I mean long. Maybe six at best. Very small fish. They don't put up much of a fight. Um, you know, you catch them and they, they they whip around for a minute, but 
you can reel them straight in. It's pretty, it's pretty effortless. Um, and that's pretty much what you catch the majority of, is those over and over and over. But then you'll have those other times where, where you get those cool, those cool mixed bag things. Again, I don't really know what they're called. Rainbow trout, maybe, or something like that. I don't know if they're largemouth bass or what the hell they are. I know one of those things I'm talking about is, is it might be a freshwater thing that I'm getting mixed up from when I go. I think crappy. I don't know if that's the real name for it, but they're like a, they look like the sunnies, but they're blacker. They're they're like more of a dark color. It's very cloudy out tonight. Um, we uh, the, the clock went back an hour or whatever, I guess. Hey, bunny. Yeah, that f that fish came in fast and went back out. That's the fastest one I saw moving yet. It's almost like a little bit of stimulation was good for them. All right, guys. Um, we'll try this uh, new camera out somewhere else. I'll be uh, over by Bubba's tomorrow, so I'll see what I could do with that. I don't know how much uh, how much time I'm gonna have. I have a I have a couple of doctor's appointments, so uh, I got I just got a lot of crap to do over there. That you know, uh, human world stuff stuff I don't like doing, but needs to be done. So that's it, fellas, friends, brothers and sisters. tell if those are antlers. I don't think they are. Alright guys, I'm going to climb out of here. It's a little bit of a steep way out. So. See you on the next one guys. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a blessed day.